Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwame Asha Allah. Koholoyin la Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakah Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say the water to our Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. I'm praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. We got another dog, Marlon. Just wanted to touch on those spirits of vengeance, man. You know, um, I think it's, you know, uh, we have to, you know, report on the judgments of the Lord, man. You know, because a lot of people don't understand that the Lord is the one that, you know, kills and makes alive. You know, you, you, you have these Christians teaching that the Lord loves everything and he loves everybody. And no matter what you do, you're okay. You know, live as, you know, do as thou wilt, spirit. You know what I'm saying? But we have to do these types of lessons to let our people know that, hey, the Lord is a, 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 a power of judgment, justice, man. So let's get a little bit of this one. It says, uh, man mauled to death by dog in his Farmington Hills backyard. And Farmington Hills is a pretty decent area. It's pretty much, you know what I'm saying? That's a part of uh, Oakland County, you know. Where we are, well, I'm not in Oakland County, I'm, you know, of course I'm in um, Wayne County, uh, you know, a county over, but it's right up the street, really, you know what I'm saying? So that's Esau's neighborhood, that's where you, you get the movie 8 Mile, you know, with Eminem, 8 Mile, the movie, but what a lot of people don't know is, and they don't understand, is that 8 Mile is a, it used to be a wall there, where, you know, it was a sundown town, where, they, you know, you Negroes was out there after sundown, they was tearing your ass apart. And, um, you know, that's, uh, you know, when people see the movie Eight Mile, they just think, oh, Eminem, Eminem. They don't re they don't know the real history of Eight Mile. But anyway, it says authorities are investigating after a 40 year old man was mauled to death by a dog at his Farmington Hills home. So this is his dog, really. About 8 p.m. on Saturday, May 18, Farmington Hill police responded to a home in the 22,000 block of Elm Grove. After receiving a report that a family dog had attacked a man, a family member of the victim called 911 and said he went to the victim's house after he hadn't heard from him all day. When he arrived, he found the man unconscious lying on the ground in the backyard with the dog pulling at his body. The family member had separated the dog from the man before calling 911. No one else in the home, no one else was home at the time. When officers arrived, they discovered the unconscious man with bite wounds. He was provided aid at the scene and then taken to the local hospital where he died from his injuries. An autopsy confirmed the death as accidental, with the cause being canine mauling. Now, there's nothing, nothing accidental about that right there, baby. That right there was all from the Howabash Shemiel was shot. The dog, believed to be a pit bull mix, was turned over to Oakland County Animal Control. Investigators are working with the family family members to determine if the dog had any previous history or aggression or could have been labeled as dangerous or potential potentially dangerous okay it says um okay well that's pretty much the end of it right so i mean it is what it is man now we understand what's going on here the average person to say oh that was an accident or you know that was missing you know misfortunate or you know i mean but think about it man when you I've never heard of so many dog maulers in my life, man. Now, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's because I'm in this truth and I understand that, you know, the Lord is the one that kills and makes a lie, which we can get that real quick. Maybe that's what it is, but I've never heard of, um, I've never heard of people being mauled by their own pet. And that's been happening a lot lately. All right. Matter of fact, yeah, let's get this one real quick. Uh, let's just go to the. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Deuteronomy 32, 39, and it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So if the Lord wants you, man, you out of here. You can forget about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it at all. Let's get this one in uh, 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So it's the Lord 
that, that's in control of everyone's situation. Everyone's situation. Everything that's going on with everybody, man. You know, that it's the Lord, man. The Lord is in control of all things, man. Right? So now let's get this one in the Apocrypha. I don't want to keep it long. I'm just thinking like, well, damn, you know, just all these maulings going on. It's been mauling after mauling after mauling as of late. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I've been touching on it because the guy up the street for me, you know, he ended up getting attacked by three pit bulls or whatever, you know, and they kind of, kind of, you know, pretty much tore his arm off or whatever. So, you know, he had, he had to have his arm amputated, but he ended up, you know, you know, being in um intensive care unit and he just ended up passing away from his injuries, man. Them dogs, you know, got at him real good. They got any real good, man. So, you know, hey, and it's all on you. How about Shimei Mashai? You know, um, this is why we say pray, man. The scripture says to pray without ceasing, to be circumspect as well. You know, a lot of people be on their phones, be doing a lot of little bullshit. And I know I just passed, um, I was coming from the store earlier just now, and, and you know, damn pit bull. You know, I, I see them all through the hood, man. So you got to be careful. It's like, you know, you used to be able to go out for walks. You know, you used to be able to just ride your bike or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do little things like that to try and stay healthy and shit. But, well, man, it's yeah, man, it's almost, you know, damn, they got to drive everywhere, man. And, and, and jumping out, need, probably need a damn pistol on you, man, because there's dogs everywhere. And a lot of these people are letting these dogs go because people can't afford dogs no more like that. They're not, you know, they, you know, dog food used to be shit. Even dog food they got fucking expensive with the inflation, man. Dog food is not the same price. Dog food and went up with the regular food for people. <laughs> so people are letting these dogs go. But this is Ecclesiasticus. Also known as the book of Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of the in, in the time of destruction they pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. See, that's the point right there, man. And damn, hey, any dog, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a wild beast in a sense. You know, until you you know you can pretty much overall training, taming, so to speak. But even then, you know, you just never know, man. Especially with those particular breeds of pit bulls, man. And then it's just, it's probably just something going, on, man. I ain't no telling what Esau is doing, man. It's probably some shit. Probably the shit that's in the air, the air quality, and and whatever the fuck else, man. You know, telling you because you never heard of these dog marlins like this, man. You never heard of people getting killed by their own pets, man. Now you a, a stray, a stray. You, you don't know nothing about. Could you know that you used to hear about little stuff like that? But an actual dog that you've been feeding, housing for years. There's been plenty of people that have been getting knocked off, man. As as, as these past couple of years, three to four years, maybe five years now, man. It's been uh, that's all you seeing. You seeing one of them. You seeing like a story on that twice, thirty times a week, damn near now. So something is going on, man, with these with these dogs, man. Okay, but it says, um, teeth the wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Now, we know that it, it was that man's time because when the neighbor, I mean, when the family member came through. He was able to just, you know, separate the dog and attack him. That's how we know that it was time for this man to go, man. It was time for the Lord wanted that spirit back, man. You know, the Lord judged him and, and, and called that spirit back to the spirit world. Let me get another one. Um, grab two more real quick. Let's get um, Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness i make peace and create evil i the lord do all these things so that's a clear cut to um these these um christians talking about how the lord loves everything he loves everybody and no matter what you do everything is okay that's what christianity teach you teaches you know the lord god is good all the time ha. yeah that's what they teach but in the meanwhile we understand and know that uh, no 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 the lord is is, is it's terrifying to the children of men, man. Let's get this one in Amos real quick. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? See that? That's the Lord, man. Let's get this one right here, too. Um, I'll end out here, Yahweh Rathazah. I didn't want to keep it long. 
Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. This is why we always do these lessons and tell our people to repent. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. And it's about to be great judgment that's about to come upon this earth, man. So you need to repent. If you're going to be going through something, you want it to be because, you know what I'm saying, you're doing the work of the Lord. You want it to be because, you know, you believe in these scriptures. You believe in Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father, and his son, Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the son. You want to be persecuted for that, not for no bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? So repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Again, those are the true names of the Father and Son, man. So with that, I'm going to end out. I didn't want to keep it long. I just say, you know, I'm just thinking like, damn, another one, <laughs> another one in your backyard. He, he, you know, you just, you know, this is your pet. 40 years old, man. He's out of here. And this is more likely an Edomite because, well, I can't, you know, not like Jake don't live in that area. It's some Jake that's there. You know what I'm saying? But this is generally an Edomite area, you know? So a, a lot of so-called white people live in um, that, that particular area. So, but like I said, again, it could have been a Jake, but I doubt it. <laughs> I'm not feeling that out of the story. I'm not really, I'm not really um, receiving or getting that from this story, so to speak. But anyway, because generally they'll show Jake. You know, they'll throw Jake on the TV, man, like it's nothing, you know. But when it comes to the so-called white man, he's not being thrown out there like that. But anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. For me, I'll show them.